Good morning everyone, today we're taking your travel photography from meh to whoa! Alright guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to Monument Valley in the USA. You might have recognized that place already from many movies. This looks absolutely incredible. Today is a bit special guys, it's super special videos. Many of you have asked me how I get the shots and all that. And today I thought I'm gonna make a video to show you how I get those shots. But instead of doing a tutorial, I'm gonna do a hands-on real life video, which means I am taking you to the different places I'm gonna be shooting today. And I'm gonna explain what goes through my mind, why I'm getting those shots. And hopefully it will either inspire you or teach you new things that you can use into your own photography at home or when you're traveling. So let's get started. So the first spot we're gonna be hitting is this one, basically the most iconic spot of Monument Valley. For, shot the first part at sunrise and the goal at sunrise for me was really get a composition where I would get a little bit of the foreground with the sand because it had been blowing the whole night. Yes, or tan blew away and it totally disappeared in the desert. And then get the rest of the monuments with a little bit of sun in the background. As you can see on the photo that I'm showing right now, the composition was really about getting an ambience of the place, meaning not just shooting the rocks, but also shooting the foreground so that people understand where they are right now. Now we're gonna hit another spot that is also very famous. It's that road that goes down and up in the Monument Valley. Uh, let's just drive there and meet there. All right, so I'm at this super iconic location. Look at that, it's in Monument Valley. It's a straight road going down and up. You might have seen a bunch of those shots actually on Instagram, but when you're coming here, there is no reason you're not gonna take your own shot. Now, there's a little trick. Maybe most of the people are gonna shoot from the side of the road, which can be cool, but if you're, if you're trying to do something a little bit better, just think about your composition a little bit more and think with those leading lines, you really wanna have the perspective. So, it's gonna look, look, they're doing it. It's gonna look a thousand times better if you're in the middle of the road. And, well, you have to avoid the cars, obviously. So, we're gonna go with Trina. We're gonna try a few shots in the middle of the roads. A few where she's walking in and out. So, we're gonna shoot wide, and then we're gonna shoot zoomed in with the 7200. Just to show you the difference between the background being super far on the wide angle and the background being like compressed into the picture super close. Trina, ready? Hello. Alright, so we tried something. I shot from kind of low because I wanted the yellow line uh, to be really at the beginning of the frame. It's cool, but then you're losing the perspective of the road at the end. So that's something to remember. We're gonna try a different idea. Come on, Trina, let's go. I'm gonna try from higher, shooting from higher, more down. And Trina, get ready. Yeah. And it should look something like, like that, basically. A bit, maybe a 35 millimeter. Let's see. Whoosh! All right, guys. Oh, what do you guys think? It looks totally different. Different angle, different perspective, different photograph. That is the beauty of it. Look at that. We've got a huge group doing it in the middle of the road right now. It's kind of cool. Now, I want to say, I'm going to try with the 7200, the zoomed in lens. I want you to see the difference between the wide and the tight angle. Now the group is done, let's go try with the 7200, let's go. What do you think of the difference? Did you, were you able to tell the huge difference in the pictures on that? You see the background is way closer, which makes it really cool. Right now, we've got a friend over there that we just met. He's got this awesome bike, so we are like, okay, let's go take a picture with the bike, and Trina looks amazing. Now, there is not something to say. Uh, maybe you think all those pictures, like in the middle of the roads, are way too famous. They are very famous because it works, it looks good. If you really want to do something different, maybe try shooting from the side of the road. That's what we did the other day with Trina. I think it looks really cool also when she's hitchhiking. Or simply go to the side of the road in the dirt. The difference is going to be massive. It's gonna look like you're basically in nature versus being on a street, which is, in my opinion, also very, very cool. So it's really up to you to choose, but try different angles, try different places, and always remember 
to compose the image in your head and understand what you're trying to shoot. Trina, what's our next location? Our next location. <gasps> it's one that's really, really well known. I Next location, guys, is a secret spot. No one knows about it. And as you can see, it's pretty unique already. You will discover it together. No, I'm just kidding. It looks like I'm going to the Eiffel Tower right now. Those of you who already recognize that it's Horseshoe Bend, it's over there. It's my first time here. So that's something to remember is that, well, there is a little part of excitement. You've seen a bunch of photos. It's a super famous spot. Uh, so as a photographer, you might be thinking, oh, am I going to get the same photos? Is there a way to do something different? I'm sure there is. Uh, we'll see how we're going to do it. I'm just going to share what's going on through my brain and Trina's. We're chatting. Obviously, most people are here, so I guess that's where you get really the horseshoe bend view. But if you look, you've got two people over there on top of that mountain. You might get a different perspective, different angle. That might be really cool also. Plus, you've got the storm in the background. That might look good. I think we're going to check both spots, see what we can create. This is the kind of spot that I actually kind of... I don't like to go there, but I like to go there because it's... It's a little bit of a challenge. It's like, oh, what can you create different? And sometimes you don't want to create different. You just want that photo for yourself. All right, ready, 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 ready. Boom! Most famous view ever here on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Pretty beautiful. As you can see, I think the photo is going to be very interesting. But if you wait a little bit, those colors might actually turn red like sunset type. It's going to be epic. Uh, hopefully, I can get a spot here. Maybe I'm going to grab that picture at least once just because it's one of those things you want to get it. I'm going to put a polarizing filter to cut off the little bit of reflection there is and maybe make the sky a bit more epic. And then, yeah, aperture as, as big as possible. I guess it's going to be a long exposure. We'll see. Let's try. Super classic shot. Hopefully it's going to get a little bit more epic just after that. Now I want to show you something which is kind of funny. This is where the Instagram game happens. This is exactly where everyone goes. They go on the little platform. People are taking their turn to take their photo. Totally cool. But maybe, maybe, I'm just saying maybe, there's something better we can do. Trina decided to go here. I'm slightly scared to get closer, but I think it's going to be a good shot. We got the shot of Trina. We took it from over there. This is what it looks like. It's kind of classic uh, for this area. So we'll try to find something a little bit more different. But classic is good, I think. Whoa, look at that. That is super high. It's a good idea to have your tripod and your strap around your neck in case you fall. No, in case something falls, you, you can get it back. Don't don't fall. Guys, it's kind of funny. The, the whole area over there is where everyone is. But here is actually, I think the view is kind of nicer. So I'm going to try to get a few shots right here. And there is no edge. So you can really get the whole depth of the, the canyon right here. And after we'll go over there, see what it looks like. I'm kind of excited. It's wow. It's so impressive in reality. Yeah. And we're getting the sun rays in the background. Wow, what an incredible place, guys. And I thought, to be honest, I thought there would be more people, but we got some cool shots there. And really, really, the conditions are going to define the kind of pictures you're going to get here. I think in maybe 40 minutes, it might get really interesting with the light. So everywhere you go, if you ever come here, you can actually get the horseshoe bent light on a very wide area. And if you're coming here, the cool thing is you get those two frames over here and there that, is, that are actually framing the horseshoe, which can be kind of cool, I don't know. Let's try it, okay? One, two, three. Wait, we just saw the people over there and it looks actually really good because they totally split off the background. So if you want to take a photo of them, it's really nice if you take it from there. You get, look, that's the frame you get. You get them or that lady over here. You get the horseshoe band and you get that little thing that's hiding it but it's not bad at all in my opinion and even if you were to do it for instagram like that that still looks cool it kind of looks really epic because it's a small person with a large uh, landscape in the background it looks really cool just sorry if it's a bit shaky okay. this is totally raw and i'm just sharing with you what i'm thinking when i'm here let's go over there all right different spot guys and as you can see you still have a beautiful view 
I think Trina can be standing somewhere over there and if I'm shooting from the top I might get a really good angle so let's go try it out oh do you see the light coming out yeah, I do. that's cool look at the rock it's changing you can see my shadow now there is a little bit of a hike or climb to get up here maybe there is an easier spot didn't have time to find an easier spot the sun's really good right now oh look at that view that's really cool let me know how you guys like those kind of videos like more hands-on video where I'm taking you shooting and you really see what we're doing and and taking so that you have an insight in in our thoughts and all that I don't know if you find it interesting or not so let me know in the comments right now uh, now the question is where do you place Trina to get a cool shot remember the trick is to always get your subject to stick out of the background so here if I'm looking considering her colors She's gonna be like blending a little bit if she stays in the middle uh, but if she goes all the way over there she's gonna be on the background of the grass uh, sorry the, the water which is totally green I think that could be interesting let's try Ooh, look at that wow the sun is coming out it's getting absolutely epic sorry I'm pausing again pause I, I need to get the shot change of plan I'm shooting at f16 look at that light this is just this is pure madness this is so so pretty right now wow I can't believe it wow man look at that this is so incredible like the light is just sick so never dismiss a weather like that because this is what you can get and if you've seen that shot on Instagram of Zion National Park this is exactly how I got it it was as epic Ooh, the sun's gonna hide I'm gonna try to get one more tuna All right, guys, that's kind of uh, what I got for this particular place. Maybe in hindsight now I was looking at the shots and I had literally a two, three minute window to get the shot with a good light. And after it was over, right now it's gonna still change color, but you're not gonna have the direct light, which looked kind of cool because it was splitting the, valve, the canyon into two. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you've seen, it looks really cool. If you like the shots, let me know. Let me know which one you prefer. I've shown you a few. Mm, I think just from the camera right now my favorite is when the hard light is the harshest because you really get the shadow of Trina she really sticks out of the the image uh, whereas when it's more dull you don't really see her she would have had to wear something like super yellow or something super blue to really contrast with the background white could work too if you're lacking inspiration or you think every shot is the same or you're bored in your city definitely try to de get different angles get low on the ground get high on the ground i don't know tr just try something different you will see it changes everything and now i'm just realizing i mean that's what i could spend hours look you could have a person here it would look epic or over there it would look epic too here even with a 7200 and shooting like that a little bit tighter that would look really good there's so many <laughs> shots you can take here so if you're coming to a super famous place and you just want to stay in the main area that is totally fine totally understand but try to push your creativity a little bit more get off the beaten path get off that that main path where everyone is is and you will see it's gonna make a huge difference and if you look at all the photographers and everyone who is like piercing nowadays the reason they are is because they do stuff that are different look at that that's so cool great ideas i just want to show you how many people there are over there and i don't know if you can see it's like Anne's family over there and here we're literally alone takes a little bit of effort but the reward is just as important it's one of those moments it's ridiculous because I think the sky is gonna turn like pink orange just on the on the layer over there like yesterday it's gonna be epic I'm gonna try to get more shots I just cannot stop taking photos when it's in that condition I'm like oh one more one more what if that person was over here it would look super super epic and look the people are over here on top it kind of looks nice also you can have them stick out of the background I'm gonna try to take a photo of him or at least I'm gonna replace him with Trina and shoot with the 7200 anyway I'm speaking way too much I'm gonna drop a bunch of photos and you guys can comment and let me know which one you prefer Boom, here we go, all the pictures. I ended up meeting another photographer because I was taking pictures of him. He was such in a great spot that was kind of fun. So yeah, the conclusion is that 
as photographer we might want to go to those beautiful destinations those beautiful spots that we see on camera that we see in photos that and we might think that we're alone but the reality is we're hardly ever alone and you have to work with it so there are many different creative ways that you can actually work with it seriously i hope this has given you a few ideas on how you can make it look a bit different look better and all that for your next destination that's very popular get out there go shoot something different try to take the path that no one takes and see where it leads you you never know what you're gonna find and i think that's the beauty about photography every situation every second everything you're capturing is always different make sure you hit that like button hit that share button share it with your friends sharing is super important really helps me on the channel if you like the content make sure you do that and remember there is the sub crb button that is subscribe hit that button and ring that notification bell it's gonna make a huge song it's gonna be awesome and i can't speak anymore i'm speaking way too much so i'll see you in the next episode get out there go shoot try something different try something new see you bye